All right, so I said I'd do a video about driving front wheel drive on a dirt track. Now, I run some smaller dirt tracks up here in New York. Um, I think they're like 3 8 mile, dirt banked, a um, couple different tracks. Uh, I'm actually somewhat new to the front wheel drive thing, but I have been racing since I was 15, so I do have a lot of experience in race cars. Um, I am by no means a setup guru. Uh, my uncle did all that for the most part, talking to a lot of the guys in the front wheel drive racing and tech page. Um, he was able to get me a really good ballpark setup at the beginning of the year, and then I just adjusted it from there for my driving style. I like the car a little bit looser personally, but you new drivers have been doing good, asking lots of questions. Um, I drive a Cobalt. I know a lot of you guys drive Hondas and uh, various other cars, but uh, talk to the guys on the page. They're really good about helping out. Um, hopefully they can give you a baseline setup to get you started, and then you can adjust it again from there like I did for your driving style. But uh, let's talk about driving. Um, the first rule is basic to any kind of racing, and it doesn't matter what you're driving, okay? First thing is, don't get fixated on the car in front of you. Don't get your eyes locked on that bumper. Because if you're locked on, the on, that, on that car, and that's all you're paying attention to, when he makes a mistake, you're gonna make a mistake. If he goes in too hot, you're gonna go in too hot. If he goes in too slow, you're gonna go in too slow, the guy behind you is gonna pass you. Okay? You need to concentrate on your driving and being fast yourself. And as you're catching that car in front of you, you should already be prepared for where you want to pass that car, whether it be inside or outside or entry to the corner, exit to the corner. Now, that being said, you need to be looking down track, a couple cars in front. When you're going into the corner, you should already be looking at the exit, preparing yourself for that exit. Now, I'm sure you watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, you should be watching YouTube videos of the tracks that you're going to be going to run at. It's good research but we've all seen the crash videos, okay? A couple guys get together and spin out and it never fails. Six to eight cars back, somebody runs into these two cars that are stopped on the racetrack. And I can tell you right now, that guy's fixated on the back bumper of the car in front of him. He's not paying attention. And like I said, it's easier said than done. We've all probably done it, gotten caught up in an accident that we probably should have been able to avoid. But you gotta concentrate on that. You need to be looking down track. Like I said, be ready to pass that car when you get to it. I already have a plan in your head of how you're gonna do it. All right, so if you've been watching those YouTube videos, you should be watching front wheel drive videos, of course. Uh, you've probably noticed that most of us run higher on the racetrack, and there is a reason for that. Now, yeah, sometimes we come down, we come down to pass. Uh, if track conditions are a certain way, we might have to come down on the track. If the bigger cars have tore up the top of the track and it's all bumpy and rutted, or it's all dried out and you can't get any traction up there, we might have to come down on the track, but majority of the videos, majority of the time, you're gonna see us up high on the track. And there's a reason for that. We're driving four cylinder front wheel drive cars. We're very limited to horsepower. We don't have it. So if you bobble and you make a mistake, it takes a lot longer to catch up, to get that power back, to get that speed back. So we stay up on the track to keep that momentum rolling, keep the R's up, keep that car going. That's the fastest way to get around the track we've found, so that's why we're up there. All right, so now that I've said that, Let's talk about corner entry, okay? So you get to the end of the straightaway. Hopefully you've got a good baseline set up, all right? You turn into the corner. The car, the back of the car will start to wash out, travel up the racetrack, all right? As the back of the car washes out, going up the racetrack, at some point the rear end is going to start to gain traction again. And as that happens, then the, then the front of the car is going to start to wash up the racetrack. At this point, you should already be back in the throttle. All right, whether it's a small track or big track, bigger tracks, you might be able to get in back in the throttle earlier. Maybe you just don't even let off. I don't know. I've never driven one of the bigger tracks. But you're going to be back in the gas, and you're basically going to catch the front of the car with the throttle. I mean, on a bigger track, it might just catch itself. I don't, I don't know. But on the small tracks, we're getting in, depending on the conditions that night. You might even burp it and try to catch it. Sometimes I have to. But you're going to catch the front of the car okay, as it comes in. This is what you're going to expect to find when you get to the end of the straightaway and you turn in for the first time. The back of that car should track out and then it should come back, okay? Now, with a front wheel drive car, in my opinion, you should not be spinning out unless someone is spinning you out or your car is broke or you have a really bad setup in the car because you should be pointing those front tires where you want to go and giving it gas and it should turn. No matter how far somebody's got you turned sideways, if you're turning into it and you've got the throttle down, there's a pretty good chance that car's going to straighten itself out, all right? So this, I mean, the same goes here. As you're getting into the corner, you need to be thinking about that exit and you should be, you know, driving toward that exit with the front tires. 
I mean, it's front wheel drive. Point it where you want to go. Give it some gas. I mean, you're not going to steer the car with the back. It's not going to happen. So get those tires pointed where you want to go. Give it some gas. All right. Now, corner entry in. We got to talk about exit. This is where it gets a little tricky. So, like I said, I drive smaller dirt tracks. So throttle control is a big part of the deal with being fast. All right. At the tracks I run, we actually brake on entry. Not a lot, but you do have to slow the car down a little bit. So now, corner exit, all right? This is where it gets a little technical. So let's call this your steering wheel, right? Here, I'll even do a little thing for you here. There, that's your steering wheel, all right? As you turn the car, you're gonna come to a point where it almost feels like a hard spot. I'm just gonna call it 45 degrees, but it's not. At this point, the car, you're gonna feel a spot in the steering, all right? Anything past that spot, it's actually gonna feel like if you let go of the wheel, it'll just go to the left by itself, all right? You'll feel it, okay? The guys who've been doing this for a long time, they'll t attest to this, all right? They'll confirm what I'm saying here. You will feel it in the wheel. The car wants to, wants to go left by itself. And it's actually even a little bit harder to come back. And the reason is, as you turn your front tires, okay, you're moving this direction, okay? So the friction is coming back against the tire, all right? So as the tire gets farther sideways, the track's pushing this way on it, which is why it wants to turn left by itself. That's friction, okay? So anything past this line on the wheel is slowing you down, all right? You want to stay in this area, up here, on that line, or to the right of it. That's where it's fast. Anything past that is friction against the car. If it wants to turn that wheel left all by itself, you've gone too far. And you can feel it in the steering wheel. At that point, you got to start, th it's all throttle control, okay? You're in the gas as much as you can as that car wants to walk up the racetrack. This is the most common mistake I see at every track I go to. Guys are coming off the corner. They got those wheels pinned all the way to the left, throttles to the floor. The thing's just screaming, bouncing off the rev limiter. It's not fast. Sounds fast, but it's not fast. Because they've got all that friction pushing against the front tire with it turned all the way like that. The car wants to go forward, and you're turning all the way to the left. Okay? And here's another problem that comes with this. As you hit the straightaway, and you start to straighten that wheel back out, the car is eventually gonna grab traction again in the forward motion. And when it does, your wheels are going to be slightly turned to the left. So if you're way over here, and you start bringing that thing back, it's gonna dart down the racetrack as it grabs traction. So now you're all over the place on exit, all right? I see it all the time. And it can cause accidents, okay? You're coming off the corner, you dart down the track, somebody's passing you on the bottom because, well, you're not going that fast off the corner, like I said. You dart down and hit him. Or you overcorrect and you bounce it off the wall or you hit the guy above you. You have to use throttle control with your steering input. You want the car to roll. Let it climb the track up toward the wall. You don't want to hit the wall. You don't want to hit the car above you if there's a car above you. So throttle control, steering control together. Mashing it to the floor is not always faster. Okay? That's it. It's pretty simple. Right? Keep your eyes open down the track. Don't run into anybody. Steering and throttle control on exit and on entrance. I mean, it's gonna. That's pretty much what the car is gonna do. It's good. The, the back of the car will wash out, and then the front of the car will wash up the track, and it'll kind of straighten itself out. Now that I've said this, if you go back and watch your YouTube videos, you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. That's it. That's that's driving a front wheel drive car. You get off the corner fast. You can get into the corner faster. You'll be faster down the straightaway. This will help you all the way around. But again, you can't run into those cars that are already crashed on the racetrack. So keep your eyes down the track. Good luck, guys. Try to be fast this year.